Hi everybody, happy Star Wars Day. Hope you had a great day of watching The Empire Strikes Back and drinking your bantha milk and eating your Wookiee cookies. But now it's time to go to sleep. So we have a bedtime story called Search Your Feelings. And I'm going to read it to you tonight. So get comfortable and get ready to travel to a galaxy far, far away. Search Your Feelings Written by Calliope Glass and Caitlin Kennedy Hopeful One bright star is how it all began. The rebellion, the resistance, the princess with the plan. Leia understood. She knew the Empire's demands. Her ship was under attack. She held the future in her hands. Hopeful, she hurried and hid her treasure well. All because of Leia, we have the greatest tale to tell. Confused These aren't the droids you're looking for, the old man calmly stated. But the stormtroopers were confused, mixed up and agitated. For these were the droids the troopers needed. Surely the old man was wrong. But Obi-Wan just waved his hand and the trooper said, Move along. Confident A secret mission, an important task. Obi-Wan needed a ride, no questions asked. Han offered his service, confident, not nervous. After all, the Falcon was fast. Disgusted. Stinky, smelly, rotten, putrid. A trash compactor's no fun. Then again, say what you will. They're not bad if you're not on the run. But something's moving underfoot, and the walls are closing in. Maybe compactors aren't so great when you're trying to save your skin. Leia, Luke, Han, and Chewie, disgusted and stuck in slime, frantically call 3PO to get out just in time. Calm. Calm and steady, strong and still, reaching out with pure will. Yoda stands, a master Jedi, cane in hand and head held high. He feels the force flowing, flexing, and raises up a dripping X-Wing. Guilty. Han had counted on Lando, his buddy, to hide him from the Empire. Lando's loyalties may have been a bit muddy, but against Han he would never conspire. Poor Han had been wrong. He couldn't believe it. He'd been as wrong as one could be. Lando was guilty and Vader was there, and Han had no way to flee. Surprised. Luke thought he was an orphan, the only Skywalker around. But the boy was in for quite a shock. The truth would truly astound. The mysterious villain, the evil Darth Vader, was actually a Skywalker, a Jedi named Anakin, a hero who'd turn and most shocking of all, Luke's father. Poor young Luke was startled and stunned. He was just so very surprised. He wasn't a baby. He was almost grown, but he couldn't help it, so he cried. Anxious A protocol droid in a chair, as anxious as could be, he rose from the ground and spun through the air and shrieked like a banshee. The Ewoks were very impressed. They thought 3 Prio was a god but it was really Luke using the Force as the Ewoks oohed and odd. Sad A droid is made up of many a part, but if you don't know it, you'd think R2 had a heart. Luke's faithful friend, the droid long served him well, but when the Jedi disappeared, into despair R2 fell. For years the droid sat, he soaked and he pined, feeling sad and blue, R2 had been left behind. Where was his master? Would he see him again? Our two wanted and wandered and longed for his friend. Determined. Raiden thinks she acted and the force flowed freely through her. Evil may have lain ahead, but she was the hope for the future. Ray was determined. Ray was ready. She knew what she had to do. She raised her arm and reached out with the force and to her the lightsaber flew. Lonely. A Jedi master on an island, Luke knows Octo from beach to highland. He knows it cave, its craggy shores. He wanders around and does his chores. He goes to the temple and reads some old books. He sits by himself and sometimes he cooks. The sole human around, the one and only. He thinks he's okay, but I think he's lonely. Angry. Kylo Ren has anger issues. I think that's safe to say. 
he smashed his own helmet and ruined an elevator and blew up a hangar bay. Then again, his boss had called him a failure, so you can blame him for being a bit mad. Let's all agree that Snoke is the reason why Kylo's such an angry lad. Frustrated This frustrated Wookiee's vexation has Porgs as its chief aggravation. They're so cute, it's cloying. There's nothing more annoying than adorable Porg infestation. Distracted It's the glitzy heart of Cantu, bright. Shining, glittering, glaring, and bright. Finn is there on a secret mission, but he quickly starts to raise suspicion. He can't stay focused, there's too much to see. From the jewels to the gold, he gasps audibly. So distracted is the starry-eyed Finn, Rose has to remind him why they snuck in. Happy A pilot and a droid, is there any bond quite so tight? If Poe and BB-8 are apart, something's just not right. These two are meant to be together. Sure, that may sound sappy, but that's why when they reunite, they are both just so happy. Was that the end of the book? I have a bad feeling about this. I thought that was my line. Dear, oh dear. Search your feelings. Excited, jealous, embarrassed, afraid, suspicious, Hopeful, confused, confident, disgusted, calm, guilty, surprised, anxious, sad, determined, lonely, angry, frustrated, distracted, and happy. The End